Picture this, the 1980 Winter Olympics, Lake Placid. The underdog U.S. hockey team faces the formidable Soviet Union. It was an era of tension. The Cold War was in full swing, and this was not just a game of hockey, but a battle of ideologies on ice. The Soviets, seasoned and skilled, were the favorites. The U.S. team, young and inexperienced, were the long shots. But the unexpected happened. The U.S. team, with a spirit of grit and determination, defied the odds and clinched a victory that no one saw coming. The victory reverberated beyond the rink. It became a symbol of national pride, a beacon of hope in a time of uncertainty. It was a testament to the power of belief, teamwork, and the enduring American spirit. The miracle on ice, a moment that transcends sports, reminding us that sometimes the underdog does win. Let's rewind to 1936 Berlin Olympics. Jesse Owens, an African-American athlete, is about to make history. The air is thick with racial and political tension. Hitler's regime is on full display. The Nazi ideology of Aryan supremacy is being touted, but Owens is undeterred. This remarkable athlete, against all odds, competes with grace and poise, winning not one, not two, but four gold medals in track and field events. Like a comet streaking across the night sky, Owens shatters world records and Nazi propaganda alike. His victories are not just personal triumphs, but they also serve as a beacon of hope for millions around the world. This moment changes the course of sports history. Owens's performance is a powerful statement that transcends the boundaries of the sporting arena. It challenges the prejudices of the time and echoes a resounding truth that continues to inspire future generations. Jesse Owens, a symbol of defiance and strength, proving that greatness knows no color. Fast forward to 1986 Mexico City. Diego Maradona is about to score the most controversial goal in football history. The stage was the World Cup quarterfinal, Argentina versus England. Maradona, the Argentine captain, was on the prowl. In a moment that would forever be etched in the annals of football, Maradona leapt into the air, his hand striking the ball into England's net. The referee's whistle remained silent, and the hand of God was born. This infamous goal sparked a global furore. Critics called it a blatant foul. Others hailed it as a cunning display of street-smart football. Regardless of the controversy, the impact was profound. The hand of God not only helped Argentina clinch the World Cup that year, but it also changed the way the game was refereed, leading to stricter rules and the introduction of technology in decision-making. The hand of God, a moment that still sparks debate, reminding us that controversy is part and parcel of sports. 2010 Wimbledon. John Eisner and Nicholas Mahout are locked in what would become the longest match in professional tennis history. This wasn't just a game, it was a battle of endurance, a marathon of wills. Over the span of three grueling days, these two athletes pushed their bodies and minds to the very brink. Each serve, each volley, each point was a testament to the sheer tenacity of the human spirit. The match was a relentless back and forth, a tug of war that seemed to have no end. The physical exhaustion was palpable, but it was the mental endurance that truly shone through. In those 11 hours, Eisner and Mahout didn't just play a tennis match, they redefined the limits of the game. They showed us that tennis, like all sports, isn't just about physical prowess, it's about mental fortitude, about the ability to keep going when every fiber of your being is screaming at you to stop. The longest tennis match, a testament to human endurance, showing us that sports is as much a mental game as it is physical. Beijing, 2008. Michael Phelps is on a quest to break the record for the most gold medals won at a single Olympics. The stage was set for an extraordinary feat, and Phelps didn't disappoint. Each stroke in the water, each turn at the wall, brought him closer to etching his name in the annals of sports history. Eight events, eight opportunities, and Phelps seized them all. From the 400-meter medley to the 100-meter butterfly, he outshone all competition, leaving spectators and competitors alike in awe of his prowess. His eight gold medals eclipsed the previous record set by Mark Spitz, a feat that seemed unattainable for decades. But Phelps didn't just break a record, he transformed swimming. His performance set a new benchmark, inspiring countless young athletes to dive into the sport, to push their limits, to strive for excellence. 
Phelps' record-breaking spree, a moment that redefined excellence in sports, proving that records are meant to be broken. 1974, Zaire. Muhammad Ali is about to face George Foreman in The Rumble in the Jungle. This clash of titans was one for the history books. Ali passed his prime and the underdog was up against the reigning heavyweight champion, Foreman. Foreman, a force to be reckoned with, was younger, stronger, and had a record of fearsome knockouts. But Ali, ever the strategist, had a plan up his sleeve. Enter the rope-a-dope. Ali leaned on the ropes, letting Foreman exhaust himself with a barrage of punches. He absorbed the blows, preserving his energy, biding his time. Then, when Foreman was drained, Ali struck back. In the eighth round, Ali's flurry of punches toppled the weary Foreman. Against all odds, Ali had reclaimed the heavyweight title. This wasn't just a fight, it was a masterclass in strategy, a testament to Ali's mental agility. The rumble in the jungle, a moment that exemplifies strategic brilliance, reminding us that sometimes brains beat brawn. 1951, New York. Bobby Thompson hits the shot heard round the world in a decisive baseball game. This wasn't just any game. It was the third game of a three-game playoff series between the Brooklyn Dodgers and the New York Giants. The air was thick with anticipation, the stakes were high, and the crowd on the edge of their seats. With the Giants trailing, Thompson stepped up to the plate. The Dodgers were just one out away from victory. But then, in a twist of fate, Thompson swung his bat with all his might and sent the ball flying into the stands. A three-run homer. A moment that instantly etched his name into the annals of baseball history. This shot wasn't just about winning a game. It was a testament to the unpredictability and thrill of sports. It was a reminder that even in the face of defeat, one moment can turn the tide. The shot heard round the world. A moment that changed the course of baseball showing us that one shot can make all the difference. 1976, Montreal Olympics. Nadia Comaneci is about to score the first perfect 10 in gymnastics. Picture this, a 14-year-old Romanian gymnast, Nadia Comaneci, steps onto the mat. She's about to make history. Her performance on the uneven bars is nothing short of breathtaking. Every leap, every twist, Every landing absolutely flawless. The crowd is in awe. The judges are stunned. They had never seen anything like it. This was the moment that the perfect 10 was born in gymnastics. Prior to this, it was believed that no one could achieve perfection in this sport. Nadia Comaneci shattered that belief with her extraordinary performance. Her perfect 10 was a game changer, setting a new standard for gymnasts around the world. It showed us that perfection isn't just a concept, it's attainable. From that moment on, athletes have been inspired to strive for their own perfect 10s, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in sports. The perfect 10, a moment that redefined perfection, proving that in sports, sometimes perfection is possible. 2006 FIFA World Cup Final. Zinedine Zidane is about to make a move that will shock the world. In the world of football, few moments have inspired as much controversy and conversation as Zinedine Zidane's infamous headbutt. With the world watching, the French football legend delivered a shocking headbutt to Italian defender Marco Materazzi. It was a move that no one saw coming, and it quickly became the talk of the tournament. The incident sparked heated debates and analysis. Some argue that the pressure of the game got to Zidane, while others believe it was a reaction to a personal insult. Despite the controversy, the incident didn't diminish Zidane's legacy. Instead, it added a layer of complexity to his already illustrious career. The headbutt has become an iconic moment in football history, forever etched in the memory of every fan. It reminds us that even the greatest can falter under pressure and that football, like life, is unpredictable. The headbutt heard round the world, a moment that reminds us that sports, like life, is filled with unexpected turns. 2016, English Premier League, Leicester City is about to pull off the impossible. The Foxes, as they're fondly called, were teetering on the brink of relegation just a season prior. Now, they were on the cusp of a fairy tale, one that defied all odds. Bookmakers had them at a staggering 5,000 to 1 to win the league a bet seemingly as likely as discovering Elvis Presley alive. 
But under the tactical genius of Claudio Ranieri, a band of underestimated players rose to the challenge. They played with heart and unity, transforming from underdogs to champions in a whirlwind season. Their victory sent shockwaves through the footballing world, shaking the very foundations of the sport's hierarchy. It was a triumph of the collective spirit, a testament to the fact that in football, money isn't everything. The Leicester City miracle, a moment that shows us that in sports, as in life, miracles do happen.